Camelot 331 here, and an Olive Garden manager has went buck-ass wild. There is gonna be no endless breadsticks for your ass anymore. No endless pasta bowls. You ain't getting nothing. Now, I don't know how the place works because I don't go there very often because I'm trying to not be the size of a house. I got the bad genes, all right? If I eat, like, one piece of bacon, I'm 400 pounds. Uh, my mom and dad gave me the bad genes. But look, it's all good. Don't worry about it. But Olive Garden is insane. What just happened at Olive Garden? I'm going to read you something, okay? So there was a manager at Olive Garden, and he told people they are not allowed to call out anymore. You're not allowed to call in, basically is what they're saying. And he left a message for all of his employees to see, and it is staggering. <laughs> It is staggering, guys. So we're going to read that to you right now. And uh, gosh, man, the audacity. The audacity. Let me know what you guys think in the in the comments. Like this video and please share it. Very, very important. Give it the up noodle, damn you. So check this out right here. We're going to jump right into this bitch. So this says right here, attention all team members. Our call-offs are occurring at a staggering rate. From now on, if you call off, you might as well go out and look for another job. We are no longer tolerating any excuse for calling off. If you're sick, you need to come prove it to us. If your dog died, you need to bring him in and prove it to us. You want them to bring in your dead dog. Unbelievable. If it's a family emergency and you can't say, too bad, go work somewhere else. God, if you only want morning shifts, too bad, go work at a bank. If anyone from here on out calls out more than once in the next 30 days, you will not have a job. Do you know, in my 11.5 years at Darden, how many days I've called off? Zero. I came in sick. I got in a wreck literally on my way to work one time. Airbags went off and my car was totaled. But you know what? I made it to work on time. There are no more excuses. Us collectively as a management team have had enough. If you don't want to work here, don't. It's as simple as that. If you're here and you want to work, then work. No more complaining about not being cut or not being able to leave early. You're in the restaurant business. Do you think I want to be here until midnight on Friday and Saturday? No! I'd rather be at home with my husband and my dog. Go into the movies or seeing my family, but I don't. I am dedicated to Olive Garden. Damn, she's the Olive Garden queen. I hope you choose to continue to work here, and I think we, management, make it as easy as we can on y'all. Thank you for your time, and thank you for those who come in every day on, on time and work hard. I wish there were more. Oh my God. I wish there were more like you. Jeez. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So uh, here's what Olive Garden had to say about this manager. It says, we strive to provide a caring and respectful work environment for our team members. This message does not align with our company's values. We can confirm we have parted ways with this manager. And as they should. They fired the manager as to be expected because unfortunately, not everybody has no life. Life and nothing going for them, no interest, and nothing going on. Therefore, you uh, you dedicate your entire life to Olive Garden. All right? The endless breadsticks are not that delicious. They're kind of soggy and gross. I'm going to be honest. Look, bad take, maybe. This person is a good example of somebody that had nothing going on with life and thought, ah, no one else should either. We should all dedicate ourselves to making poverty wages at Olive Garden. You're <sighs> dumb. You a dumb bitch. And it's good riddance to your dumb ass. That, I wish they would release the name. All right? I want to I want to shout out her name from the heavens in disgust. Not really, but kind of. But only to myself. I'm not going to release it. I'll do it in my own time. Say her name. It's probably something like Karen. I'm going to put this out there. If your dog dies, bring in its dead body, she says. Un- damn believable man unbelievable look at this person right here it says i love to have the person around food coming to work sick because manager karen said that she comes in sick or having someone bring the dead body of their pet into a restaurant 
<laughs> I came to work at Olive Garden after totaling my car and possibly suffering from my energy, my injuries. Is it the flex this person thinks it is? It's actually a sign of low IQ. At least the manager now has more time to spend with their spouse and family like she said she wanted to have in the first place. This person did not get into a car totaling wreck and make it to work on the same time. I was in a high speed wreck on one of the most patrolled, safest double corridors in one of the most densely populated states in the Union, and it took several hours to file a report. Might as well go out and look for another job, Olive Garden Corporate. No, no, you're going to do that, manager. And look, you know what? If this probably didn't blow up, I'm going to be honest, she probably wouldn't have gotten fired for it um because that's how corporate companies usually work with people with tenure look man i'm gonna i'm gonna put this out there and i've said this before and i'll say this shit again if management or anybody at your work that is your superior is telling you to do stuff that you know is very very wrong drop that shit immediately there's a lot more jobs but there's only one of you and there's only one of your mental health and your physical health do not waste it at places that would rather watch you die than lose an hour an hour of labor, all right, or five dollars. I'm not joking. And if you think it's the manager that only thinks this way, nah, the executives think this way as well. You are a number. They think this way. The only reason she got fired is because this shit blew up. If this wouldn't have blown up, she would have been still be there right there. All right, right damn now. That's how this works. So I'm not going to eat at Olive Garden anytime soon because I'm going to avoid the dead dogs and the sick people. But other than that, you shouldn't either. All right, God, how did they let this happen? For 11 years. Keep in mind, Olive Garden may not be at fault entirely, but they employed this lady for 11 years, and you cannot tell me she didn't have one of these goofy-ass rants before. And this is the first time my hairy asshole. Get the hell on it, doggone it. Please let me know what you think down below. Do you work in the restaurant in industry? What do you think about it? I think it's pretty damn insane. Like the video, subscribe to your boy, and get the hell on it, doggone it. I appreciate you guys. Quick one today, uh, just something I found pretty entertaining. So, wow. <laughs> no more Olive Garden for my goofy ass.